position, and they both have the, 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 the posture of ease, they're sitting relaxedly, and they have the hand at the temple, the right hand, but at the temple in a posture of calm, relaxed reflection. The headdress is different. The one at Kouruji, which is clearly Maitreya, or Miroku, is, has this little hat on. And the one has it, the hair tied up in the balls or something like that. And if you've never been there, the, the thing all of us are surprised to see, because we know Japan for being, having fondness for large statues. You know, the Daibutsu of the Kamakura, the Amida statue of the Kamakura, the statue of Dainichi Nurai at, at Nara. But each of these statues is about two feet tall. They're pretty small. They're pretty small. And they're, they're just beautiful. And I'm not an artist, right? PM artists have been especially impressed with this one, the one from Kouruji. I can't tell you why. I, I'm not, you know, that advanced. But um, certainly, there, Alexander came in to India, when was that? Third century BC? Fourth century BC? So five, six hundred years later, that Greek influence is still that strong in the Gandhara area. That Buddhists finally encountered and said, you guys do all these statues and paintings, you know what, well, that's not a bad idea. You could do that. Go to uh, the uh, Seattle Bet Swing and their little uh, study room where they usually have their study sessions. They have what unfortunately is a combination of two things. And it, they're both genuinely from Gandhara. They're bought. In other words, they, they, somebody found these broken statues and they matched them. So it looks like it's the statue of a Buddha, the head of a Bodhisattva of the statue of a Buddha. But who cares? You know, it is still quite impressive. I mean, to me, to see something like that, and uh, and it is striking how Greek, you know, the the, the artistic sensibility. It's funny, you know. Um, H. G. Wells was famous for having said Alexander was not great. He did nothing but kill people. Alexander, but as we can see. The culture they brought in was quite was something. You know, the, the, some of the people we brought with them were intellectuals and artists, and, and they they transformed the uh, culture in northern India in the Gandhara area, and uh, that's why we have the, all these images that we have now. Uh, Caucasian convert Theravada monk had said for the about two two three years ago at the. This was three years ago, the Buddhist day in the park, that he was going to, we should do uh, karuna meditation, you know, compassion meditation. And I, I tried to draw out of him what that was, and he got a little, per se, karuna or mudita or peksha meditation. And I'm pretty sure what it is, is it's just the meta meditation shifting, shifting to these other mental states and emotional states. And the meta meditation is, is quite well known. It's that you start off with yourself, you know, may I be healthy and happy, the, the A standard form, may I be healthy and happy, may no harm come to me, may I live in peace. And then it's, may everyone, and you got to stay there for a while, because the next one is, may even those who are unkind to me be healthy and happy, may no harm come to me, may they live in peace. And then you finish with all six things, may all six things be healthy and happy. May no harm come to them. May they all be peace. So I assume that if you deliberately 